Nine fatal ways animals protect themselves. Have you ever been to a fight where you have a deadly need to protect yourself? Well, to keep safe from danger, wild animals have also evolved strategies. For others to live in the wild, these defensive mechanisms are important. Some of these ways of defending yourself are well known and obvious without even seeing it. You have undoubtedly smelled the odor of a nearby skunk. Others are more subtle and others are bizarre altogether. Here's a peek at some of the fatal defensive mechanisms you might see in your own backyard. But before we go any further, please like and subscribe to our channel, Top 10 Teacher, and press the bell icon to get new excellent updates only us can provide. Without further ado, here's the nine fatal ways animals protect themselves. Number nine, Texas horn lizards squirt blood from their eyes. You may have heard about this behavior and you may have assumed that it was a myth, but it is real. A horn lizard from Texas, also known as a horny toad. This creature has so many defensive mechanisms against predators that it can confuse the enemy with camouflage and rapid zigzagging movements. But the best thing is that it can squirt a well-aimed stream of blood from the corner of its eye to discourage a predator. It's disgusting, however, it is also amazing. These bumpy creatures are Texas horn lizards, also known as horny toads. The lizard is now an endangered species there, once common in Texas. The beloved reptile has two large horns on its head and although it is usually docile, when disturbed, it will shoot blood from its eyes. There are two constricting muscles in the horned lizard that line the main veins around its eye. They cut off blood flow back to the heart as these muscles contract while it continues to flow into the brain. This fills the sinuses of the eyes with blood, induces pressure, and causes them to bulge. Amazingly, if necessary, this technique can be replicated many times within a short span of time, although the mechanism for this fast recovery is not fully understood. Number eight, Iberian rib newts push their webs through their skin to use as weapons. While some animals squirt at predators with blood, others use their own bones as arms. The Iberian rib newt has an impressive way of dealing with predators. Though frightening, the newt will force its ribs forward and through its stretched skin to produce protective spikes when threatened. These are toxic, but not just as spikes. When teased or attacked by a predator, the newt secretes a poisonous milky fluid onto the body surface. It is highly effective to combine the poisonous secretion and the ribs as stinging weapons. Although the attacker gets a mouthful of poisonous spines that inflict extreme pain or possibly even death, from the gruesome tactic, the newt itself has no major negative effects. During its life, it can perform this skin-piercing maneuver over and over again and heal itself without problem each time. Number seven, hairy frogs break their own finger bones to use as claws. For defense, this frog species can sever its own bones to build claws. There is always a good explanation why this frog is sometimes referred to as the horror frog and the wolverine frog. When attacked, the main protection of the hairy frog is to break its own finger bones, pierce them through their toe pads, skin, and use them as claws, not unlike the X-Men popularity of wolverine and undoubtedly fall into the horrific category. The claws of T. at rest robustus, which is present only on the hind foot, is nestled inside a mass of connective tissue. A chunk of collagen forms a bond at the tip of the frog's toe between the sharp point of the claw and a small piece of bone. A muscle is attached to the other end of the claw. This muscle, which pulls the claw downward, contracts when the animal is attacked. Then the sharp point breaks away from the bony tip and appearing on the underside slices through the toe pad. Among vertebrates, this action is unusual and will likely come as a surprise to an intruder. Number six, exploding ants. Ant colonies have various kinds of ants that perform very Various positions, including ants whose task is to protect the colony from attackers. But protecting the colony means more than just biting attackers with their mandibles. For around 15 species of ants known collectively as exploding ants in Southeast Asia, Worker ants have huge, poison-filled glands from these species that run down the length of their bodies. A worker ant will aggressively contract its abdominal muscles when under pressure to effectively blow itself up and spray the attacker with a sticky poison. It may not be a Hollywood-like ball of fire, but it is not harmful for the explosion itself. Its sole aim is to release the corrosive chemical irritant that can immobilize or destroy the assailant. While this also destroys the ant, the whole colony can be saved by her invention. 
mention. Whether or not the exploded ants are honored with a hero's burial is unclear. Number 5. Bombardier beetles spray boiling hot toxic liquid. This is another animal, less the drama of dying in the process, that sprays a noxious material. That's because it's an individual defense mechanism in this situation rather than one that helps the colony, so dying will defeat the objective in the process. The bombardier beetle doesn't just spray anything like a stink bug that smells unpleasant, it brings the material to another level entirely. The scalding hot chemical spray is sent by bombardier beetles all over their attacker. The presence of two chambers within their abdomen that hold the vital reactants apart before they are ready to be discharged is an important characteristic of these beetles. The contents of these two chambers are combined and shot through the abdominal tip when the beetle feels threatened. The beetle will not be able to live without two different chambers. 270 degrees can be rotated by the abdominal tip from which their protective chemical is sprayed so that they can shoot at predators more quickly. Number 4. Termites grow exploding backpacks of toxic blue liquid Alright, before we move on to other defense mechanisms, one more exploding insect, and this one is very impressive. In French Guiana, a form of termite called Neocarprite termes taracua sends its life preparing for an attack. When it arises because they are particularly prepared to fight back, the older termites go to the front lines not because they are more seasoned in fighting, but because they are carrying fire. The termites are fitted with what are basically explosive backpacks. During their lifespan, using a pair of glands in the abdomen, the termites develop radioactive blue crystals and then store them in an external pouch. Older worker bugs are sent along with soldier bugs to the front lines when enemy termites such as Labial termes laboralis invade the nest to produce a type of toxic goo. The poisonous blue crystals that they have amassed respond with salivary gland excretions. When an enemy takes a bite, the explosive backpack ruptures, coating surrounding enemies in a lethal pair paralyzing venom that in the process often kills the worker. The older termites are the first responders because the poisonous crystals have the biggest accumulation, meaning they can pack a bigger punch against enemies. Their sacrifice will help save the colony, just like the Malaysian exploding ant. Number 3. Boxer crabs use sea anemones like deadly pom-poms. Like lethal pom-poms, boxer crabs use sea anemones. What if you want to use poison to protect yourself against attackers, but don't produce any? A clever solution solution emerged from the boxer crab, also known as the pom-pom crab or cheerleader crab. In each claw, boxer crabs catch and bring around a tiny sea anemone. The crab will wave the anemones when disturbed to warn off predators, but the anemones pack a strong sting if the predator strikes. It's a perfect way to hold attackers at bay, and by being mobile and thus potentially having access to more food, the anemones profit. But it's not like any way the anemones have a lot to say about it. These crustaceans spend the rest of their time in shallow waters attached to reefs. Owing to their unusual presentation of sea anemones, which live attached to the crab's claw and are often welded similarly to pom-poms or boxing gloves, they are known as pom-pom or boxer crabs. Number 2. Astonishing Behavior or Electric Eel Electric eels can use their shocking ability not only to stun prey, but to then help the fish find their incapacitated meal. The high voltage charge does more than just stun prey. One of the most effective attacks in nature has long been called the high voltage strike of an electric eel. But one scientist has now discovered that nocturnal animals can also attack prey in the dark using their shock waves. In South America, electric eels live in the wild, muddy waters of the Amazon River Basin, where seeing them in their natural environment is difficult. And in capturing an animal able to grow as long as 8 feet 2.4 meters and generating an electrical charge of up to 600 volts, there are many challenges. A punch strong enough to knock down a horse, plus the attack of the eel is very really quick, only milliseconds after the animal unleashes its electric bombardment, and its head is already moving to swallow the paralyzed prey. Like a peasant shot in mid-fight, even after its muscles have been deactivated by the eel's shocks, 
a fast swimming fish powered by momentum can continue to careen through the water. Number one, cartwheeling spider, Sabrenus Rechenbergi. The cartwheeling agile arachnid from the desert using the trick of a gymnast to escape from dangerous situations, it cartwheels its way out of danger. The spider first assumes an intimidating pose when threat comes calling. If the danger continues, the spider runs and the cartwheeling is twice as fast, about half the time it runs. The spider propels itself towards the source of the threat rather than trying to cartwheel away, perhaps invoking the principle that a successful attack is the best defense. Running away will prove futile in the barren sand dunes where the spider lives because there is no place to hide. If it continued for long in this high energy routine, the temperatures of its desert environment would be lethal to the spider, so cartwheeling is thought to be an escape option of last resort. Even before the spider was formally named, its actions inspired a biomimetic robot that could walk or roll in a similar way. Alright, these defensive mechanisms can seem wild, but in order to keep themselves healthy and safe from predators, how are you finding this video so far? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Before we end this video, please do not forget to hit the like button below and click subscribe to our channel, Top 10 Teachers, for more amazing videos. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as the next video is starting.